is. Oh. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, this stream's back online. Yeah. I don't All right. So. Oh, go uh, back in the napping time. By the way, gold is transfixed by your loot and will continue to listen to it as long as you're willing to play it. Oh, I didn't even have to make a performance check? Nope. Okay. Um, it'll be a 10-minute performance of just playing the loot. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm just going to roll to see how good this is. Uh, that's a 21. I love this yeah. song. <laughs> Free bird! This is, this is a good song. Good song, yes. The song he's playing. Um, the song I'm playing is going to be... Is this? Uh -huh. <laughs> a random Celtic fantasy song. Fair enough. I just made a joke in chat, though. <laughs> oh my god, this one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. So, after about ten minutes, the song finally ends. Encore. Encore. Okay, I play another ten minute song. What the? <laughs> you I said mean, encore. Asked for it. <laughs> you asked for it. All right, roll. Uh, roll charisma saving throw. I deleted night, the night. post. It's a 17 this time. Uh, that is a... Um, 13 this time. If a 19 didn't get it, a 13's not. No. You are sitting there listening to another song. Okay, I finish and I'm like, I'm tired now. We're just gonna move on. It was lovely having you all here. I thank you for my first ever performance. And, um... I can't wait until tomorrow. I can't wait until tomorrow. We will start every day like this. Every I mean, day. We could go one more. Every day. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I'm just going to stare blankly at you for like 10 seconds straight and then just continue on playing the loot as we walk. Wait. Fair enough. When did you learn how to play the loot that well, by the way? I look back at him and I go, I've known how to play the loot my entire life. I really wish that remove curse was uh, worked because he, something's real wrong. I I ain't cursed. I mean, I've been traveling with you for days. You can't weeks? remember how much time Months? you've been traveling with him, actually. How long have we been traveling together? What's my name? I would recall that, right? <laughs> uh, yes. Um. Ramen? No, noodles. Noodles. Noodles ramen. Right. Yes. Yes, that's you. What was the name of the two guys that were with us that exploded? Um, Mr. Boom Boom Man was, uh... God, what... Rotham. Rotham? Rotham? Mm -hmm. I wanted to call him Fight. Just really know... And you wouldn't know about the other guy. And... We, we went traveling with another one guy. Other guy. Because remember, this was made after that guy died. So yeah. yeah. And uh, we've never traveled with another person. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to do a general knowledge check, I guess, to see if Roll I know knowledge. anything about this. Knowledge. And then, I mean, once I'm done with that, we're, we'll be good. But this is just what the character would do. Yep. Yep. Out of character, do you know what's going on here, Gold? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You created the split personality because yeah. of the Vala Book of Darkness. Yeah. Uh, however, so with just a basic knowledge check, that is a 14. All right. So you know that something's not right in his head. But that's about all you can tell. I mean, I've been there. Come on, buddy. You must have hit your head. Let's go. I hit my head all the time. Uh, do I I'm still fine. have that gr ring of growth on? Yes. Okay. Although your character uh, would be less interested in it due I'm to gonna... not being a druid. Does it look fancy? 
Yes. Okay, I'm gonna keep it on then. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna yeah, I'm going to lead my friend, who I'm assuming also has a head injury. Fair um, I mean, I could do a medical check, but at this point, I'm just assuming. Mm-hmm. Roll, um, roll, uh, roll random encounter for the day. Um, 63. 63. All right. Uh, roll a d2. If it's a one, it's going to be bad. If it's a two, it's going to be good. Oh, oh no, I didn't mean to do there that. There we go. Second. What's a D2? Just a D4? Yeah, D4 just roll a D4. Odds, I yeah. Oh, why did this site not have a D2? It doesn't have I a coin. What the I, heck? I honestly don't know. Like, everywhere has it. Evens are good. Odds are bad. What that, the fuck oh, is that? That's not anything. That, you can't tell me that's a roll. <laughs> is that a one? It says it's a one, but that's not. It was not. a one, that's a three, a, and a four. <laughs> that's, a, that's an eight. Three or all that. <laughs> Two. Here we go. <laughs> All right. So, as you're walking along, you notice. Actually, roll perception. Um. Okay, seventeen plus four, dirty twenty-one. You notice that several people in armor emerge out of the woods. Um, uh, you can also roll Cody to see what they look like. No, I, I just don't care. I'm just playing my loot, and I'm just going to continue my performance check, apparently. Okay. The guy in the lead looks like this. Gold. Holy fuck. Man, this campaign yeah. is wild. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> Do you know what that's from? I know. <laughs> I, listen, I'd have to be like, never played a video game in my life not to know where that's from. Yeah, fair enough. Mm, yep. <laughs> uh, Do I need to make a token of this man or no? No, he won't uh, be there for very long. Thank God. <laughs> um, But I am continuing to play my instruments. Fair enough. Anything going on? Uh, n nothing that should concern you. We're just passing through. What about you? You All notice right. that there are about 10 to 12 guys with them. That's some pretty fancy armor. Where'd you get that? Ah, uh, trade secret. Would you be willing to sell me some? No. Okay. Oh, well, head on. Uh, look out for, like, any uh, prime evils. The dude just nods his head. <laughs> okay, and we're going to head on. I don't have to roll anything after saying that word, do I? No. Great. Also, look out for Voldemort. That was a joke. Voldemort? <laughs> he who should not be named. <laughs> You're, you're not saying his name? Why not? Nah, um, you know, you don't want to say that. I owe him money. It, it, like, I owe him, like, three gold pieces. And it's fine. He's just really weird about it. Like, I could pay him. You mean, like, Strahd? <laughs> I hate that guy. Let's go. And I head off. Do you follow him, Cody? <laughs> um, yeah, and I'm gonna start playing a kind of a badass walking away from an explosion music. No I just imagine why. you playing Brave Sir Wa Robin walked away. He bravely ran away. You know away. what? No, I'm singing that. Fair enough, real performance. You'll get some claps from the people behind you as they 23. walk away. Twenty-three. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm really good at performing now, apparently. Well, you 
it kind of comes with the field of expertise. All right, so after two days of walking, you guys come to this windmill. Hold on. It's the right address, by the way. Uh, yeah, that'll do. The choices and maps. I know. Uh, all right, I kind of wasn't a little bit prepared for this part. Um, all right, just get this map up for you guys so you can see what the surroundings look like. And uh, yeah, you guys arrive at this place. Are you gonna knock on the door? Uh, yep. Oh, weird. I can't even see the map. Uh, I haven't changed it yet. That's why. Oh. 2 by 18. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> ah, windmill. Windmill, okay. yes. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll knock on the door, because we were sent here, so we don't really have anything to be afraid of. Hey, so a fellow like that answers the door. You can tell that he is a tabaxi here. Um, if you want to introduce yourself, you can now do so. Hmm. That's Hi, your cue. I'm, uh, I'm Noodles, and this is... Uh, what's your name? My name? Yeah. Prominence. This is You prominence. should really know that by now. Like, come on, dude. Listen, you hit your head. I don't even know who you are anymore. Oh. Uh, oh. Gold, you notice that that name is not the same name that he was giving you before. Oh, yeah, I don't give a shit. The guy has a head injury. I like how you know these things. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, he has an injury. Deal with it. Yeah. Oh, God, this is going to be really weird for anyone joining your group. <laughs> I'll just explain. I mean, as, as a character that... Um, Recovered from a head injury muted. just recently. You were muted for how long? Ah, uh, good, like five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I ha I did a whole th bit too, and it's fucking not as uh, okay. It we're never makes it in. <laughs> well, I mean, we start. Hey, yo, fellas, how are you doing? Aren't you a cute little birdie? Welcome in. You are you the people that killed Master Sant? Yeah. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. And she's gonna push you guys in really quickly. And then while, but before, I'm gonna flap my while, wings kind of a little bit as we go in. And then when she closed it, she's gonna look out like, like, like make sure no one followed you and then closed. Fair enough. Roll perception. Oh fuck. Um, oh, <laughs> I wasn't prepared. Okay, I gotta pull my thing out. What's my perception? Oh, the fuck. Uh, that goes. Hang on, I gotta. Do math. Uh, I should probably make this public. There we go. That Ooh. is uh, plus two, so well, seventeen. You notice a figure standing in the cabbage patch. <laughs> hey, you! What are you doing here? The figure looks up, alarmed that he's been spotted, and then uh, a second later, he a flash of light occurs and he teleports uh away. I was just about to pull my, my... Okay, cool. Don't worry about that. That's probably just vampires. They've been following us for a while. Every Well, get your day. candy ass in here! Candy <laughs> ass? Wait. I look behind me and like, look at candy? it. It's not that scrumptious. <laughs> Are you going to oh, eat his you ass? Oh, uh, Do you describe the figure you spotted? Hmm? Uh, sh I don't know. I don't even know how to describe that thing. Um... You know, that figure looked really weird. It had, like, a fake face. It had, like, these tentacles all over. I don't know. It was really weird. Oh, I know that guy. I fucking hate him. He's a worm. <laughs> that walks. Well, he really wasn't that stealthy. We're just sitting there. Nah, like, it's fine. He really doesn't that dude, need to nah, be stealthy. Hates me. That dude hates me. <laughs> well, get that in here. We haven't talked to you. 
He's gonna just that push dude you hates guys in. the party, not um, just you. Oh, but yeah, I'm. You, you, you know Noodles. He's completely self-centered. Fair What's enough. your names? I'm Noodles, like the tasty dish, and this is promiscuous. Hello, Noodles. <laughs> That's a gross butchering of the name. Pr pr prominence. <laughs> pr let's Hello, sound Noodles it out here. Boy. I know. I know we're all very hard of hearing. Pra me nens. And I'm, I'm gonna give you like that. a slight. I'm calling you Bodie Boy. Bert, I'm, oh, Bird I'm also okay oh, with. Oh, like that. Birdie Boy's Bird fine. Brain. Bird Brain is not. <laughs> Let's just call him BB. BB is good okay too. I'm good with baby. BB. No, get in here before something attacks you. Okay, promiscuous. Right. Let's go. For fuck's sake, why are you guys doing this? <laughs> I'm 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 just gonna give a really deep sigh, and I'm gonna cast calm emotions so I don't explode. Uh, DM, I don't have control over my character. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to unlock it. There you go. If you double click on you. it, you can move it as well. Yep. Yeah. Um, you guys go upstairs, and you can hear a gruff voice and say, "They arrive." Yeah, you... they're here. They took a while, and there was a guy outside. He looked like a worm, but he was look he was really bad at stealthing, like really, really bad. Like, god damn, how bad could you be? He looked like well, yes, no, and he looked and... like a worm. You can see him grip his weapons tighter. Um, can I shift into a worm that walks just to, with disguise self and be like, it looked like this. It looked like this. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. Okay, there you go. He raises an eyebrow. I'm surprised you guys are still alive. Don't do that. You scared the hell out of me. <laughs> <laughs> you can see this tall, <laughs> gruff guy. He's wearing full plate. It looks very expensive. He's holding a hammer. <laughs> nice hammer. Thanks. <laughs> that, that's the extent of a conversation skills at this point. Yep. Uh... Just hey, that's my hammer. plus three charisma. Is just nice hammer. Nice hammer. Uh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I, anyhow, we were told to come here for some backup because I think we're fighting mm. a vampire lord and maybe an army. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Well, my student is certain certainly ready to go into the world and. Um, you're gonna pop out a claws and like you like clean them and like sharpen them. Fair enough. By the way, there's the paladin. Oh god. Yep. Oh, I Bam. Jesus. I, you don't need a token for him, Cody. He will not be reappearing again. Okay, so just a really badass knight with a golden kind of steel helmet and armor and a massive yep. hammer that is two handed. Yep. I mean, you should have seen the armor on these dudes we just met a couple days ago. It was crazy. <laughs> true enough, true enough. You have no idea what kind of technological advances were inside that armor, by the way, Gold. <laughs> oh, no, I just thought that was crazy. I mean, those yeah. that armor was lighting up and stuff. It does yeah. not take a rocket scientist to know that that's crazy magic armor. This is crazy. Mm -hmm. Uh, it might not even be magic. It could be purely mechanical. True. Uh, either way, we were sent here for a reason. Mm. Being, yes. getting someone else to join our little party here. And who he would that be? He nods his head and goes, yes, that would be my student. He, and he'll be joining hiya. Where, where are they? Hi, how are ya? That one? You point that to thing? the Tabaxi? You've already met them. That thing? <laughs> yes. That Don't thing. be racist, BB. Uh, I'm gonna walk up to him and put my claws right to his throat like, I'm not a thing. I'm very deadly. Like, drop the action and then everything. I'm gonna look you dead in the eye and go, I like you. Good, we'll be hanging out along for a while. I need to go and rejoin the guildmaster in his fight. My time here is over. My exile has come to an end. 
Time to have up fun, master. What, what did your master do? Why is he exiled? Why, Why was he imposed? Oh, Why were you a punishment? No. It's the, a, 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 I don't know how to say this. Debushed vow. <laughs> that <laughs> basically meant I was here studying religion and training a single apprentice. But now it seems that things have gone chaotic again, so it's time to rejoin the fight. Matthew, how no, everything has been chaotic. Chaotic? Chaotic? Whoa, chaotic. what the hell mm. happened? Chaotic. Well, ca More ca like. Chaotic. <laughs> Strahd and his army are now me. moving against this kingdom. If I sit here and do nothing, then there's a chance that we may lose. And that is not something I can allow. So I need to get going. Um, just mm. before you leave, careful of the Lazarus pit in this area, and I'm gonna point at our map and just show him. Just uh, there's a bunch of barriers around here at this point. Just don't, just don't go in there. Just don't. This seems to be an area that's out of the way. I wasn't planning to go there anyway, but um, yeah, I can avoid that. Making sure everyone knows. Don't touch there's the water. There's also a prime evil out there somewhere, apparently. Oh yeah, that thing. I, mm -hmm. I, I, out of character, I actually don't remember that thing, but, um, yeah. <laughs> well, do you want to explain it? Like, no, my no. character wouldn't know nope. what it is. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm just acting like I would. No, I don't want to explain it. Fair enough. In which case, uh, he will just nod his head and go, all right, I'll keep a lookout for that thing. Uh, I thought the guildmaster sent somebody to go deal with that, though. Did they yeah. not? They did, but last we met, that person was still looking for it. And there might be an undead dragon somewhere too, but not the guildmaster. I ah, don't ah. worry about it. You mean the old bat that's the Draco Lich? No, no. Did you one. just call him an old bat? Yeah. I mean, if you think about it, dragons are all kind of bats, slash lizard, slash. What the fuck? <laughs> I love the, the the slash what the fuck part. So, uh, anyhow, what do we do now? Well, um, as I understand it, the guildmaster said something about a graveyard that you guys wanted to go investigate. Oh, okay, we should do that. I totally don't remember what that is out of character. I don't either. <laughs> you guys Who don't just remember the map. That was on your screen. Oh, that thing, right. How did you add <laughs> barriers around it? It's right next to the Lazarus pit. No, oh, it's yeah, fine. That graveyard. <laughs> How did you guys forget this? I don't know. I don't know. I bought like a thousand gold worth Wait, of Wait, to be fair, to be fair, goldfish is a goldfish. It's true. Yeah, this is true. Did you know that goldfish actually have memories that extend out to 20 months? Not this fish. And yet, we're still dumber than a goldfish, apparently. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, well, we All make right. our way back to the graveyard, quote-unquote. Alright, it's about another day's travel from where you're at. The knight will, uh, get his stuff and head in the opposite direction towards the guild hall. Don't okay. die! I will do my best. You owe me everything if you do! Alright, let's go. What's your name again? It's Nova. Nova. Nova, do you like music? Because BB here is just, he shreds on the loop. You're, you're gonna see me, my smile just grow exponentially wide, and I'm gonna pull out a flute this time. I'm gonna grab the flute out of his, out of his hand. Let's keep a little quiet now, shall we? Okay, now I'm gonna pull out a loot. <laughs> I'm gonna pull to grab that one too. Okay, now I'm gonna pull out a little drum just, set. Keep grabbing it until you run out of shit. Yeah. I don't I, run out of shit. That's the thing. That's he the fun part. He can literally make it. He's a oh, that's you he know pulls out gonna... a freaking tuba and a piano. What do you do? <laughs> After a while, if you're just taking the shit away, I'm just gonna start singing as loudly as possible. <laughs> 
See, I told you he's good. So let's <laughs> go to this graveyard. Uh, and, no, sorry. Uh, roll uh, charisma saving throws. Oh, oh, yeah. Also, it's a 19 plus 8, so good luck. I fail yeah. it on purpose. Oh, right, oh my god. god. Quizmo? Hang on, I gotta find my what my Quizmo modifier. I don't remember what Should I did. Be at the top, uh, under Quizmo oh, now. right. I need a nat 20. Uh, yeah, you do. Because I rolled a 27. <laughs> uh, five. <laughs> you fail. You are enchanted by his singing. What are you singing, Cody? Um. <laughs> beep, beep, I'm a sheep. <laughs> If anyone beep, doesn't know I'm what that sheep. is, beep, beep, you need to I'm look it up now. Beep, beep, I'm a sheep. A beep, 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 I'm and a sheep. It's, it's not just a short version of it either. It's the entire way there. Hang oh, on, God. I got a phone call. <laughs> Roll random encounter, by the way, for the day. Uh, I will do that one this time if you're okay with it, Gold. Yeah, I've rolled two. Sweet, 92. <laughs> a beep, beep, I'm a Roll a d4. Oh, shit, even we're gonna good, even odds even. bad. Odds hey, bad? It's, it's an even. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw that. As you're walking along, all of you roll perception. Um, God damn it. Just there, what was it? Uh, perception, perception, perception. Just a normal Ooh. 10. 19 plus 4. Hang on, a little slow. You're yeah, fine. Don't worry. We'll get there. Cody 20. All right. So, Nova and Noodles, you guys are walking along, and you spot a depression in the dirt that doesn't look natural. And I'm just stop singing. Stop you all. Go. I'm going to stop everybody. Don't walk <laughs> over that. That might be dangerous. Uh, it's off to the side of the road in the tree line. Oh. I'm, hey, I'm look gonna... at that. That could be dangerous. I'm gonna stop singing and be like, "This better be good." You stopped my amazing beep beep song. Did you <laughs> see that hole well. there, though? I bet hole? you there's a monster in there. I'm gonna throw a rock at it. All right, you throw a rock at it. Nothing happens. Can I? Um, the rock think lands I... with a thud and dents the dirt. Can I'm I gonna do an please... investigation check? Yes, you may. Uh, roll While an he investigation does that, check. I'm gonna pre douse my claws in poison. And, uh, let's see, that is a nine. Uh, All right. You don't know do... much, but you know that something has been buried here. Can I cast Mage Hand to dig up the dirt? I have a you shovel. May. Okay. Can you give the Mage Hand the shovel and they can dig? Yeah, let's do mage that. Hand. Okay, I hand you the shovel. The shovel is a full-size shovel, by the way. It's yeah, not you like can, a little trowel. That you can garden. dig with one hand with a full size shovel. It takes. It's a little more difficult, but you can do it. I'm just. Gonna I'm not saying it. it's impossible. I'm just letting them know. Yeah, it doesn't oh. say anything limiting the size. Mm. Oh wait, how heavy is the shovel? Uh, uh, it's like ten pounds. Is it exactly ten pounds? Yes. I can use it. <laughs> <laughs> Without <Maybe>. issue. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're 30 feet away from this hole, and I get the mage hand to just start digging. Fair enough. After a while, you hear a chink, chink as the shovel strikes something in the dirt. Can I Can do I... a perception check to see if anybody around to, to attack us while we dig stuff? For sure. Oop, ah. Perception. You don't spot uh, anyone. Wait, no, that's uh, a, the, uh, eight. You still don't spot anyone with that. Okay. And mm -hmm. I don't have to concentrate on this, so I will just do the same thing, I guess. If you're, right. it, it makes sense for us all to be looking around as it's digging. Fair enough. So yeah, gold. Also, you roll a perception too. Just right, eleven. Cody, of course. You're not see wow. Anything. Uh, wow. that <laughs> is a fourteen. All right, in the way back uh, of the tree line on top of the hill, you see that guy again. He's staring at the party. Can I? <laughs> hey, asshole! As soon as you call him out, he teleports. Um, man, I'm... he is good at cheat running away, huh? How long has that... it been since we left the farm? It's been about a day. Dang. <laughs> 
Uh, I'm gonna go up to whatever the thing, the thing that they uh Bailey to see what it is. All right, as you look into the hole, roll perception. Eh, eh. Nineteen. You notice a small chest sitting in the hole. Um, hey, get your main mage hand to pick the thing up. How big is it, and how heavy is it? Uh, it's about twenty-ish pounds. Hmm. Unfortunately, my mage hand has a really hard time lifting it up, and it can't how, actually get it up, and then it disappears. How deep is it? Uh, like it's pretty length? close to the surface, so maybe like three feet. I'm gonna grab it with my hand. Hold on, right. we better check it out. We might want to check if it's cursed or not. Yep, we have a history with cursed items. So oh. many cursed items. Then That's go ahead. You guys kept finding things carried by evil beings. <laughs> True enough. Uh, I guess I'll do an arcana and gold. Will you do a religion? Uh, I'll do a religion or an investigation to make sure there's not mechanical traps. Are you casting to check magic or just doing an arcana? I'll do both. Okay. Can I also do a arcana check? Because I don't. I want to be doing something. Yes, you may. Well, the uh, the <laughs> the magic fails horribly, and I can't tell if there's anything magic Eleven. about it. One. You go to cast that spell, and you see it start to coalesce around the box, and then something goes horribly wrong, and the magic blows up in your face, blasting you backwards twenty feet. And you take thirteen damage. Are you okay, though, Han? Um, toasty. You could have just used your wings to fly. But that's this. This is um. Mm, the box is completely fun? fine. Okay. Um, nobody's gonna wait. Wait. Nobody's gonna sniff and like. Does anybody smell chicken? I'm gonna look at you, just really saddened, like saddened by that comment, as I make my way forward to the box again, so I can do my arcana check. The box is a little bit singed, but otherwise completely unharmed. Whatever this is made out of, it's made out of very good materials. Oh, nice. Twenty-three. Damn. All right. You know that the box itself is not inherently magical, but there is a magical presence coming from inside it. And can I it... pick it up now? Uh, I yeah, mean, go I didn't ahead see any traps. and pick it up um, with a it, one. It doesn't I'm gonna seem use... to be evil. The box, I mean. I'm gonna use, without touch. I'm gonna use my claws to grab it without like putting my fingers on it and then pull it out. All right. As you pull it out, you notice that there's a little uh, padlock dangling off the uh, the the hook that um, that keeps the lid closed. Okay, uh, I'm gonna use my mi minor conservation to summon a, uh, what's it called? A, uh, thief tool and try to lo unlock it. Alright, roll lock picking. What would that be? Would that be sleight, sleight of, of hand? hand? Sleight of hand, yeah. Oh, that's not good. Mm. That's a six. You poke around in there and you hear a chink chink and then one of the pins gets stuck. God damn it, I'm gonna just break it. I'm gonna break the lock. Alright, roll strength. I uh, I'm gonna. <laughs> um, I should wait. I wonder if I should rage just for. Just giggles. <laughs> just rage uh, at the box? Yeah, just fucking. Get the break it open. Uh, uh, 13. Uh, the lock's old, good enough. It shatters as you strike your fist against the weak spot. And that's how you do it. I'm gonna open up. Uh, you could have literally just asked one of us to unlock it. Nah, that was All pretty right. funny. As you open it up, you see a chalice. It's inlaid with diamonds and emeralds and gold. Let me uh just do an arcane check on this I'm before not you pick that. it up. Nobody pick it up. Nobody pick it up. Arcane check, please. <laughs> me too. Just a 13. 13. <laughs> All right. So, um, Gold, do you rule knowledge religion? Of course. Uh, no. Damn. Plus, I think I'll give you advantage. Now. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so still. Oh, there. yeah. 20 plus. All four. right, you know that this chalice belongs to the god Pelor, 
the god of the sun, the god of healing, and the god of um, he's the god of one other thing. Hold on. Sun, healing, nature? No. Or fire? Uh, it's fire. Um, yeah. And you know that if water is added, you can consume this chalice, and it will save one person from death. Oh, this That's is really important. Wait, yes. Is there any backlash from using it? No. The holy so, item. Ooh, what would happen if we dipped it inside of the Lazarus pit? Lazarus pit? Let's no. not fuck with holy. Let's not Wait. mix holy and necrotic stuff. What would happen? Like, if we put normal water in it, it becomes blessed water, and it saves mm -hmm. someone from death. If we pour... And it, there's no downsides. And if we pour that water into the Lazarus pit, which is corrupted, the god might be able to bless the land and cure the corruption and just make an infinite pool of life. But I'm gonna pick what it if up the god got real way. mad at us? Well, we would, of course, ask right. permission. Do you okay. know how to ask a god permission? Yeah. You I'm very religious. What kind of question oh. is that? I'm gonna <laughs> contact my god. Wait, no, sorry. Do they share this information? Uh, that's not the gold. Oh, yeah, of course I do. Okay. Right. Um, may I contact my god, please? Roll divine intervention. Thank you. Um, 32, but I'm gonna re-roll that. Use one of my things. Thirty-one. Uh, can't. Can't. Uh, I ha I have two more re rolls if I want to. Do we want to keep trying? Uh, I mean, if you I have to. You wanted... So do I'm whatever. Go ahead and try. Yeah, go ahead. And seventy-two. Mm, not quite good enough. Four. The reason why I'm able to re-roll is because I'm using my feet, by the way. Yeah, I'm aware. Okay, just making sure. Yeah. Um, oh, God. Okay, one more. One Come more on, re-roll. Come on, get a good one. I mean, you guys have time. It's not like you need to 82 contact... 82 plus 2 luck? Not quite good enough. Uh, well, what? 82 is not good enough? Damn. No, it has nope. to be above 90. Yeah. The last time we did this, I literally got a nuke... A nuclear bomb as mm -hmm. a gift. <laughs> um, well, there's nothing I'm I gonna, can do. <laughs> I'm gonna pick it up and put it in my pocket. Fair enough. Uh, real quick, does religion add to that roll or no? No. Damn. It would have made it if it did. You're rolling for divine intervention. <laughs> I know. Yeah. It's religious. Totally. I I've the gods really just don't boy. pick up on a whim. You have to roll a certain specter. Um, can you... Okay, well, we should head on. Also, Maybe... who the hell put this here? Yeah, who put that here? Good question. Good question indeed. Uh, who but the short we... answer is you have no idea. Uh, do we know enemies of... Who the enemies of this god? You would know one... Actually, Gold would know one of them. It's Vecna. Oh, fuck that guy. Or a lady. <laughs> the lich. Vecna is a, a lich. And yeah. yes, he is a... Yeah. Can I pull a uh, roll a quick religion check to see if I know that one of the enemies? You could just ask. Sure. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. What's my religion? Hang on, I gotta find it. Uh, 18. You know that this god tends to be enemies with the devil, um, Vecna, and several other dark deities. Okay. Because it could be put up. It could be put one of the enemies trying to hide this away from his champion, or he, anyone he wants it to heal. Or he could have ordered one of his followers to put it there in case somebody needed it. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also true. Cool. It's in my pocket. Let's go. All right. I need to write. Down. What would I write down? God chask. Just put that in. Wait on. Chalice of revival. Chalice of revival. And do yeah. and, and whale. Item. It doesn't exist in the actual handbook. I invented custom it. item. Yep. How do you add a custom item? I don't remember. Uh, uh there should be a button for it. 
Go to it, manage uh, inventory. Okay, imagine inventory. Uh, inventory scroll then, down. Or no, okay. just just manage inventory and then custom items right there. Yeah, there should be. I a feel like I'm. Just, oh, here it is. Uh, I'll be right back. Oh, okay. right. Um God, chas. Chalice. Whatever. Okay. All right. Uh, make our way to the Lazarus pit area. After another day of walking, you guys arrive at the graveyard. You notice Thank that you. there are several little cracks in the barriers put up by the uh, the. This guy isn't here anymore. Um. <laughs> I need my character though. How do I? Uh, They'll I import them in. There we go. I need to unlock it as well. It's already unlocked. Oh, it is? Okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay. Um, All right. General perception, because we can see there's cracks there. Uh, I'm just going to take my there's passive 13. There's cracks in the barrier around this place. Okay. Um, is there any like holes that been, we can uh, see? Not in the barrier, no, but there is cracks. Small ones. Are they... How are we supposed to get through these barriers? Oh. Uh, you can just walk through. Yeah, we're, we're good. Ah. We're, we're fine. Um, they're okay. holy barriers, so unless you're undead, you can just walk through, right? Yes. <laughs> Here's uh, a good Cody. moment to figure out if you're undead or not. Yeah. Roll a d2. D2. Oh, sorry, d4. All it is One. one. Alright. Call it first and then re-roll it. Oh, uh, evens. There's two. So you turn back into Eminence then? Hmm. I believe so, yeah. Okay, yep. Yeah. So, after you guys wake up, you'll notice that uh, his eyes are back to his normal blue. Um, oh, you can change your eye color? That's super cool! I'm sorry, what are you talking about? Eh, he doesn't whatever. Know. Gold. There oh, be right right. Old with the gold yeah. party. Um, just give us a second. We'll just wait for gold to be back, and I will be right back on stream as well because I will be right back as well. I get a P two, so I'll be right back. I'll be back. Alright, I'm back. Hello! Hello! Wait, is it 9 o'clock in the air? Nope. Okay. They should be on in like a twin hour. Hey, is everyone back or no? I'm back! You're back! I'm back! Oh, yay! Is the DM back? Nope, they're muted. Be unmuted. Be unmuted. Ooh. Do you have that spell? I wish. <laughs> oh, hey, look, my, I can add waging to my character. That's awesome. Oh, um, but yeah, no. So, uh, you left before you could hear this, but my eyes turned back to the cyan. Oh, okay. I'll do a medical, uh, yeah. A medicine check on you. Ooh, I'm good at those. I'll do one of those, too. <laughs> Will you stop it? Did the 15 do anything? I don't know. The DM's not here. <laughs> ah! 
DM 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 um, um, Either way, when you guys are doing this... Okay, sorry about that. I was getting uh, my cat some food and setting up... All good. They did medical food. checks on me. Um, they rolled a 13. Okay. And a 15. And that's Pornhub in my background. Thank you. <laughs> um, I've not rolled. I would have 15. I love those no uh, noise Oh, alerts. that is a 9 plus 7, so... Oh, Damn! Six. All right, so you guys both know that this is not normal. And there, he might have some kind of personality disorder. I'm going to flap my wings a few times as they're looking me over and be like, God damn, stop it, you guys. There's nothing I'm wrong with me. I'm going to grab his uh, head and look at him like with my cat, like my eels, like like flipping around and like my eyes like zoned down like I'm looking at play. And, what's like, your name? Uh, Eminence. We've been together for weeks. What did we do yesterday? You can't uh, remember. Yesterday What's my was, name, Han? We were at the guild hall, right? Uh-oh. Who's this next to me? Who's the one grabbing your head? Oh, by the way, you're very uncomfortable with a cat. Right, I'm a bird. Uh, you're gra <laughs> you're grabbing me, right? I am grabbing your head, looking at you. Yes. Uh, gust. What is that? Is that a spell? Make a Rule strength a fif saving throw. Strength fifteen. <laughs> oh, it's strength. Ooh, yeah. Yikes. Oh, uh, I think I'm plus four. Nope, plus three. I lose. Okay, you get pushed back five feet. So Ooh, you get don't into you the have water. Some <laughs> Don't you have some pump in those wings? I don't know who you are. Don't touch me. See, don't come here. Been here for... <laughs> we met this person yesterday, and you were playing a lute, and you were calling yourself. I hate dominant. instruments. Why would I play a lute? You were a different person. So you've been cursed. Yeah, oh, been cursed. Cursed. Can I do That's an arcana I... check on myself? Yes. Oh, I just Can I do that. an okay not check on this person too? Yeah. Five plus three. Nat to twenty. Nope, not one. <laughs> no, that's a seven. That's, that's a seven. So eight. All right, uh, so one of my you guys have no idea. Cody, for some reason you can't remember yesterday. I, which I, is really, really weird. You also have no idea who this cat is. Okay. I got a couple questions. Because obviously I either hit my head or something and I blacked out for a day. No, you're cursed. No, you were talking with us. You even saw this warm like creature. We found this awesome, cool glass. That don't can talk buy. about it. Okay, I don't what? know who you are. Who are you? That's my first question. <laughs> He's going to bow her. new friend. Chaos. I introduce myself again. She's going to bow and, go, and with her tail like a pop like above her head and a... I know, uh, Eel's, like, toning a little bit. I'm Nova, how are you? I'm gonna go behind them and start inspecting them from all angles. I'm gonna lift their tail, I'm gonna lift their arm, I'm gonna look inside their ear. I'm gonna pull apart their, their, their like, lips and just, like, look at their fangs. I'm just gonna do a full-body uh, inspection. You gotta know that ev everything can be super clean. Uh, knowledge. <laughs> Eleven... Plus you know that this is a tabaxi from your readings. Okay, uh, would that be an insight, though, yeah? Because yeah. I'm trying to check if they're, like, one, not undead, two, actually a good person, and three, uh, trustworthy. They are a fluffy, cute cat. They are not undead. Meow. Mm. <laughs> okay, um... Just the mm. idea that I would be hanging around with the undead is very funny. I know. I just wanted to make he's sure. You kind of when you hang out with the guildmaster, but he's got some special things going for him. Okay. Well, why are we uh, with you... him then? I mean, she... there's nothing oh. wrong, but like, she's gonna why? go up to either her for first of all, second of all, your guildmaster told me to come help you guys. Oh, sorry. I I didn't check down there. Obviously, that that would be inappropriate. <laughs> mm -hmm. And guildmaster, uh, what what? Which guildmaster? I don't know their name. 
What? what I don't was know. The that name oh, that's gave right. Him? You, you, you were told their name. Yeah, but I forgot. I don't know about... <laughs> it's Stefan Dragonheart. What was Stephen... our nickname for him again? Um, Bone Daddy. DG. DG. Oh, DG. DG. Oh yeah, DG. Wait, was it DG? It was DG. Yeah, DG told me to come help you idiots. Oh, okay. Well, then. as long as you split profits evenly and you're part of the party, I guess so we'll move on from there. But there's nothing wrong with me, and I'm going to be very stern about this. If it oh, happens okay. again. Get proof for me, okay? Like, do you have a suggestion? I don't. I, I don't know how you get proof. Astral projection! Ninth level spell! If <laughs> something's happening to me, I need to know about it. But I don't- I obviously don't remember it. But you your character would find weird, because you would remember getting the mission to go get them, but you don't remember the intervaling day. Yeah, exactly. Which is really strange. Like, I don't know how we got here. take you to, like, a better church and get you uncursed. Oh, know, and also... <laughs> oh, listen, I know that. I know that. But Noodles is just dead set on it being a curse. Yeah. Fair enough. I, I'm going to look down at my, my ring and see if anything's changed about it. And obviously there hasn't been. But, um... No, there has been no changes to your ring. In fact, it's still there. I'm going to start just... growing a bean sprout again. How long do you concentrate on it? Oh, just a little bit, just to make sure it's still working. It works just fine. Okay. It grows to about maybe, would you say, like two, three rounds? The, the magic's still working, so there's nothing wrong with that either, so I, do, I don't... Hmm. I don't know okay. what's... Do you yeah. have gaps in your memory mo more than just yesterday? No. I make the bean sprout grow a little bit more. We should just investigate this and leave his brain curse for later. No All right, curse. come on. There's We're nothing gonna, wrong gonna walk with okay, me. I have to deal with this. A voice in your head goes, it's not a curse, it's a mental issue, and then vanishes. Brain curse. Uh, <laughs> brain curse? <laughs> uh, I'm going to try, I'm going to uh, get out of the water and try to jump over the gap. How big is that gap? Uh, let me. I should have said that immediately. That's ooh, twenty-five feet. I don't think I can jump that. I'm gonna fly it. I'm you really also have a rope, so you can do a tightrope type thing, Cody, where yeah, uh, your your companions can get over that way. If you want to set that up, I'm gonna look it's, back at them and see if they're having issues at all. And then how they deep are. is the water? Uh, you don't know. I'm gonna take you a. You cannot stick see the bottom end. though. Hmm. <laughs> Can you reasonably jump 20 feet with a running start? <gasps> I have an idea. I mean, you are a tabaxi. You could make yeah. an athletics check if you wanted. Cool, let me do that. Let me, right. I'm going to use my ability. Oh, this is not the wall. I was going to use my, uh, I'm using my ability. I, uh, hang on, let me, I'll tell it to you. I don't know if it's going to help at all, but feline agility. So I'm going to use it from heel to heel. So like double my speed. And hopefully make somehow get that. Uh, Alright. I'll give you a plus three on your roll. Is that a 17? 17 plus five. And then plus Alright, yeah, you can make that gap pretty easily. Now the human. <laughs> okay. So Come on, I'm gonna sugar. take my crossbow out. Okay. I'm going to attach my rope to it. To a bolt. And I'm gonna try shooting it into the other side. Um I'm gonna back away from that I, aiming area. Can I try to get Fair his enough. attention real quick and be like, "Do you want a a nice crossing over? I could just grow the bean sprout." Oh yeah, <laughs> you can do that. I was just gonna take care of myself, but I'll take beans. I mean, do you oh. trust these rickety ruins though to hold your weight? What are you trying? It's to more say? the beanstalk needs to be held up by them. Yeah, true enough. Either way, yeah. you're gonna take a risk here. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and shoot with the crossbow, the rope, uh, across, or at least try to. Alright, uh, uh, I mean, you're aiming at the, the ground. Side. Can't move, can't resist, prone, so you're going to hit. Okay. Uh, DM, I, so while this is happening, I'm going to summon some uh, snake venom, and then stop dipping my claws. I see. Getting ready for combat. Smart. Yep. Oh, right, okay. we had another long move. So, I guess... Can I make a check to make sure that things are secure or to secure... Roll integrity. 
Uh, is that a d20? Yep. I'm gonna also check that make sure it's an it's... eight plus whatever. Ah, uh, this I'm gonna check doesn't have a bonus. I'm gonna okay. check too. All right, you know that the rope is a little shaky, but it can probably get you across if you're careful. I'll, um, oh, I should have used guidance on myself before I did that. <laughs> obviously, it's a, he's gonna be really heavy. So if I can like fly over him and grab him, and then just he's wearing some, full. I know. I'm not gonna hold armor. all of his Actually, weight. I'm only gonna hold partial of his weight, so he can climb a little all bit. Right, so that'll give you a plus two on your climb. Now roll Ooh. a climb check. Now I'm going to cast guidance on myself before I do that. So that's. Uh, all right. D4. Alright. Okay. We're just trying to make sure you get across here. <laughs> this is gonna end terribly. Oh, Four geez. plus Roll two. Roll a D4. Oh, whoops. Roll a D4. <laughs> two. So you have a plus four on that, so it's an eight. Uh, plus um, athletics? That would uh, be... Uh, what's your... No, it's climb. There should be a Acrobatics, I believe. Yeah. Um, the ice balance on tightrope, stay upright on a rocking ship deck. Anything that's like. Oh, no, I think not it's athletics. Because it then, says attempt to climb a sheer or slippery cliff. Yep, anything uh, with climbing is athletics, then, yeah. Okay, so that's a three. Mid -jump, I'm going to off the papel rope just in case. Fair enough. Why is the DM just, like, rolling repeatedly? Uh, I'm just playing with the dice. I'm not doing anything. Okay. <laughs> Ignore those. I don't know about that. So that was, what, a... Four, uh, an yeah. eight. Eight. Plus. Okay, now, an eight plus three. Wait, before they jump, I'm going to throw a rope and say them tie themselves to uh, do it, just in case they fall. If I can pull them out. All right. Nothing bad happens, but y you can feel the rope shaking a little bit. Eminence gets some strain. Eminence real strength. Um, yeah. Not one. You fail! You hit the rope as you collapse. <sighs> From exhaustion. I'm just like, no! It's <laughs> heavy! I'm just gonna take a slight nap. <laughs> wow! Surprisingly, the rope doesn't collapse! <laughs> okay. But yeah. Eminence, you are tired. You are literally on top of this man as he's trying to climb across. Well, how close carrying. are they? Are they? Are they almost there now? They're like in the middle of the river. Can I just like pull as hard I can to pull them? Just, just, just shove them over on the other side. Not right. shove, but like all over. Yeah. yeah. Uh, plus yeah, five. That pretty well. You go back a few feet, but you manage to get them both over without them falling into the river. All right, you two knucklehead, let's go. I retrieved I, my rope. I tried to help. I retrieved it didn't my. Work. I retrieved my rope too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You guys retrieve your equipment. Now you're standing in front of the graveyard. Roll perception. Eh. Eh. Nine. Twenty-one. One. Noodles, you critically <laughs> fail. Um, you, you're staring at a butterfly on the other side of the river. Um, Cody, hey, you notice you that there that are several of these lurking around the graveyard. There's like two or three of them. <laughs> um, do they seem to be angry? Or no. ill intent? They're just... They're, uh, they're like NPCs in a stealth mission right now. Okay, so they're watching us? No, they're, they're flying back and forth in predictable patterns. Oh. Uh, do they look like they can bleed? No. <laughs> no, they're incorporeal. I'm like, I won't be able to do shit against these guys. Okay, uh... I'm I don't have point... a plus one weapon either. I'm gonna point them out to everyone and be like, Hey, so we have two choices here. Either we can destroy them with everything we have alerting everything around here, or we could try to sneak through. Let's try sneaking. I'm not very good against non-touchables. Yeah, Fair we enough. should try the sneak, and if worse comes to worse, I can try to destroy undead. Uh, I'm gonna try to... Uh, 
That's my sneak, by the way. Fair enough. Plus five. That's your stealth check, right? Yeah, plus five. So yeah, okay. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 22. I'm cast Guidance on all of us. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Oh, and I I don't, I yeah. I'll also cast Guidance, but we can only use one of them. So, 23. So, okay, three. You... I have an 18 plus two, so an unnatural 20. So, gold, you can have the, right. the Guidance spell. Okay, so I have a 16 plus one, so that is a 17. No, I Dang. didn't roll this. And a one, so 18. Yeah, now Unless one I have of these guys rolls a nat 20, they're not going to be seeing any of you. Um, that mithril armor is awesome. Um, yeah. You are wearing mithril, right? Yes. Do you have disadvantage on stealth checks or no? Nope, that went away. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Mithril is just awesome. that good. <laughs> we should probably All right, so yeah, go... None of these... None of these enemies are going to be seeing you. However, you guys do note that there is a gate right here that you can go through. Um, I'm going to uh, make sign language and go over here. Fair enough. And then I'm going to summon another tools kit and try to unlock it, if it's, un if it's locked. Uh, is it is locked, so uh, roll lockpick. God damn it. Uh, that'd be sleight of hand, tink, so tink, 10. Tink, 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 crack. <laughs> Something inside the lock just broke. Uh, is damn there damn any... I'm punch it open again. No, before punch you punch it, it I'm gonna... I'm, I, before he punches it, I'm gonna grab his hand. And I'm gonna say... Okay. Wait a moment. Is there any, like, holes or cracks I can see through the wall? Uh, this is a solid stone wall that, um... Sorry, the door. In... The wall. Yes. Uh, okay. roll perception. Uh... Yeah. Nine. Uh, you don't see anything, but you can hear groaning coming from the other side. Um, is there... There's groaning? Okay. Ooh, he looks like he can take poison damage. Yeah, so... Yes. I... Unfortunately, going... that is an undead, so they are immune to it. Immune to resistant? Uh, immune to poison. Can this I is use... not a great campaign for this character. <laughs> can I use my dagger to try to quietly... Uh, you could just use the other pet, my lockpick uh, set I have. Yeah, you broke something. Remember, the of lock it, just broke. Oh yeah. So I actually have vials of acid. Oh yeah, you do. So uh, how about I just pour some onto the lock? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, I'm gonna take a vial of acid and pull it, pour it onto the uh, lock. It says it does 2d6 acid damage. Yep, metal and po or metal and acid do not mix. So you'll hear a sizzling as the lock burns away. It does it like try to fall to the floor or no? No. It, oh, he's God. literally burning the superstructure of the lock. So the only thing that's left is that little piece that goes around the two hinges on the door. Awesome. Um yep. Okay, who wants to go first? There is something I'll inside. I'll go first, and I'm the still. I roll the highest. Okay. All right. Uh, so this go? enemy is looking right at the door, so it is going to spot you when you enter the thing. Roll initiative. I, I was gonna say, can I throw dust in his eyes? Ah, <laughs> uh, you can try that on your turn. He's gonna Fuji dust it. Oh, I should probably. Uh, roll noodles. This as well. What what was the total on that? Thirteen. That was a very right, bad roll. the monster. Uh, Nova. Uh, Cody, what'd you get? 11. Alright, uh, so roll a separate dice. Uh, that man. was, uh, 7. 7, cool. uh, seven by the way. Gotcha. Uh, gold, roll a separate dice to see who goes first. Okay, what do you want me to roll? A d20. That's a 5. Uh, it looks like the monster is gonna get to go first. So, who's in front? Probably me. Uh, the person who just burnt the lock, and then hang on. Do I have any reactions I can do? First. Uh, what is reaction? That action would be reaction. Nope, got nothing. Could go. Cool. What's your AC? Uh, fourteen. It will hit you twice. Um. 
You take 12 damage. Roll a consti- actually, roll two constitution saving throws. These guys hurt. The... Hang on. I'm flying. Uh, so one... Constitution, so that's, I think it's a plus one, so that's 18. Okay, you'll succeed nine. that one. And nine. Nine? All right, you fail. Um, let's see. You are stunned for five rounds. Jesus. <laughs> Better yeah. you than me. <laughs> that's why these guys are harsh. They're dangerous. I think I should have put leather ammo on or something. It yeah, doesn't. that might have been smart. Yeah. All right. Uh, so stunned. Oh, it is now Eminence turn. Oh, it's my turn. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. No, wait. I'm sorry. I need to change my dice. You rolled a one. Mm. Nope. These are so bad too. Look at these. All right. Um. Actually, wait. I'm sorry, Cody. It's not your turn. It's Eminent, or it's uh, it's Noodle's turn because you're behind. Yeah. Okay. Huh. So I'm familiar with these. I did not write down all of the effects of my mace. I just have it as a plus one mace. It's a plus one mace that does the same damage as your old mace and has radiant damage. Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna just uh. Where will I have to reposition myself to hit this guy? Uh, no, this doorway is pretty big. Um, so you can probably, oops, I mean to do that. Uh, you can probably just hit him through the doorway without hitting your allies as long as you don't roll like a nat one or something. Oh, geez, I hope I don't. Yep. Okay, that yeah, is that, a. Yeah, that will hit. That breaks through his armor class. <laughs> 18 even plus bonus, 7. So. Yeah. Okay, Dang, so... you have a strong attack. Oh, I I tried to make him as jack of all trades as possible because I didn't know what niche I'd be filling uh, with that oh, intelligence being like the big problem. But with that <laughs> fix, like he's a pretty solid character. Yeah, might sure. have been solid too if I can if they had ble- blood. Okay, so one d six plus four, and then whatever rate. No, not two. Stop! It, so I the leave first it alone. thing is a uh, six. All right. So uh, that will do six radiant to this thing. It hates radiant damage, so it's going to take double. Um, unfortunately, it's not a vampire, so it doesn't take the extra uh, plus twenty. But yes. Um. All right. So the creature is bloodied from this attack. Woo. All right, now it's Eminent's turn. There's only one of these things, so I'm not expecting this to be a huge threat for you guys. I don't want to waste any good, like, spells on it, so I'm just going to cast Control Flame on it. Oh, wait, not, con- not Control Flame, sorry. Uh, Reduce. I'm just going hi- to hit it with a quarter staff. Okay, cool. Uh, roll attack. I'll be r- uh, right back. I got to go check something. Eh, eh. Oh. Um. What was your attack roll? Uh, 11 plus 3. <laughs> That's not going to get through his AC. Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, yeah. And then I'll take two steps back. Fair enough. Just so we're all missing. Alright, so yeah. top of the round, it is now the monster's turn. Seeing as how um, uh, Nova is stunned, it's going to go after gold because he just hit it really, really hard. Um... So it's going to make two attack rolls. Gold, what's your AC? 18. What does Stun do exactly again? Uh, it makes it so you can't move. Move? But can I still ends. have you? Can I still use actions? Unfortunately, no. Really? Because like, you're literally yeah. out of combat. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, it's the worst thing ever. Gold, it will hit you on one of these attempts. You will take four damage and make a constitution saving throw. Uh, that is a 12. That will fail. <laughs> God damn it. I have the worst This is not attack. supposed to be threatening. <laughs> You've done for four rounds. So. Yay. I'm gonna pick up his hammer. A hammer? I'm gonna grab his hammer and I'm gonna bash this thing's face in. Oh, oh, you're, you're grabbing his, uh, it's not a hammer, it's a mace. Can you even wield that? Per- yeah, I can. Oh. It's simple. Druids can wield maces, apparently. That's not broken at all. I can, um, <laughs> I can do sickles, slings, spears, quarterstaffs, scimitars, daggers, darts, javelins, maces, and clubs. Maces are all right. Uh, roll the roll the hit. Eighteen. By the way, it has a plus one to your attack, so that's 19. a nineteen. Plus, plus your other modifiers. Yeah. Uh, um. So that will hit. 22? It's going to do 1d6 radiant damage and take double because it's radiant. <laughs> One. Wow. Wow, that, that's all I can say. Yep. So it took two damage and it's not dead. God damn it. <laughs> Ugh. Um, what a kill right here. Yeah, movement action. I'm just gonna. Who has the most health? <laughs> No, uh, I got not that much left anymore. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll I, stand. I, 20, I have 27. I'll, I'll stand um a couple feet back. This thing so was he, not supposed to be a threat. How so is it if, doing this? If he comes because close to so me, high. I'm going to get an attack of opportunity. <laughs> In other words. It has a DC 14 save. I don't know how you guys have... <laughs> Come on. <laughs> This is thing you're so lucky. These kids. I gotta find a, a a radiant poison or something. You know you do. Yeah. Um. So I yeah, I need to a make one. Back. All right. Cool. Oh, I can just uh, use holy two, water. These two are stunned. Seeing as how that's the case, the monster is gonna come after you, Cody. Yeah, I hope so. And uh, uh, how, is it gonna enter my threat square? Yes. Sweet. Attack of opportunity. I take it. <laughs> All right, roll to see if you can hit it. No, I cannot. You miss. Um, it's going Fuck. to attack you. <laughs> I know it is. Oh. Uh, does a twenty-one break your armor class? <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, so it will hit you once. It will take six damage and roll a Constitution saving throw. Hey, mm-hmm. question, DM. Can I put holy water on my claws and count as a? Holy, oh, holy poison. Uh, We're all paralyzed. We are all paralyzed. Yay. Are you freaking kidding me? Nope. Go to party kill. Yeah. Oh, how many, God. How many turns until I get back up? So. I'm unfleased. Uh, four. Currently. Wait, real, real quick. Can I. You're do only something stunned as for two rounds, Cody. Thank God. Okay, what are you going to do? Um, so. I'm gonna instead, <laughs> as a reaction to getting hit, cast Mirror Image. Okay, what is There's that now do? a 50% chance. Sorry, no. Uh, I make three duplicates of myself. Yeah, I know what that is. Uh, you must roll a six or higher to change to change the attack's target to the duplicate. With two duplicates, you must roll. So. If I roll anything above a six, it's gonna hit the duplicate, not me. Is this is a reaction to getting hit, right? This is a reaction to uh, getting hit. Yes. Okay, so because it also allows case, me to swap spaces with any of them. What is the dice that you roll? It's a d twenty. Okay, and if you roll above a six, it hits above the a six. I rolled a 12. Okay. So, its AC is 10 plus my dex, so it's a 12. So no matter what, it's gonna get hit, but the paralysis goes on it. 
All right, so you can no longer swap places with that particular one in that case. That one also disappears. Oh. I still have two more, though. <laughs> okay. I should have just used Elder's Blast, like, for real. So that did ca cost a second level spell slot, but yes. This will okay. save us from getting wiped out. <laughs> That's the only reason I can do you that. You hope. Because it can target both of them in a single turn. Yes, true, but then I just cast it again. <laughs> How many second levels do you have? I have three. Okay. I'm just going to use all three of them. I will if I have to. Is you can it, This is like use... the first enemy. This was supposed to be easy. <laughs> I know. So can I? could I use holy water? And I could yeah, my you poison? could potentially, yes, because that would do radiant damage to these fools. I'm going to do, I'm gonna have to do that. I mean, yeah. I should have just used uh, Remedy or whatever on uh, the Monk, but I forgot. Lesser Restoration, sorry. Fair Is enough. Holy Water wa uh, magical? Technically, yes. Technic can we say technically no, so I can just summon some? Well, here's the, here's the thing. Um... There are certain monsters, like divine beings, that are not affected as much or have resistance to holy water. That's why it depends on what you target with it. Holy water is classified under not magic items. That's weird. I'm That's gonna call it. Weird. Um, okay, so I am going to mm. swing with the hammer again. Alright. Uh, roll it. Um... The wall. So oh those God. guys, a, uh, a thing goes down, a tick, so this is three and three here. You miss. Um, okay, so the ghoul is going to target uh, your two clones. I mean, unless you want to swap places with them. Do they have any kind of AC whatsoever? Yes, uh, it's, it's 12. Okay, one of them will be hit. Okay, so the other one's perfectly fine, though. Yes. So the one that's hit disappears. I don't have to roll anything for that, then. No, it just disappears. <laughs> um, but keep in mind, I do have to roll... Okay, yeah, no, it, it it would hit the duplicates. Yeah. Yep. I'm guessing you're not going to swap places with a duplicate. No, <laughs> um, I won't. But the, I always, every time it attacks a duplicate or me, I have to roll. I see. And if and you that roll decides. below a six, then it hits you. No, it, 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 it gets six. harder every single time. So oh, really? uh, it's a six or higher for the if you have three, an eight or higher if you have two, and eleven or higher if you have one. Let's see. So right now it's at eleven or yeah, higher, and it's a fourteen that I rolled. So. Okay, so you pass the check. Um, another hammer. I don't miss. <laughs> really don't want to miss. Not twenty. Not twenty. Thank God. Double All crit. right. So this is not. Not double crit. <laughs> Not double crit. So this is going to do double damage, which is going to be turned into four times damage. Roll it's your damage. D6? Yes. And it's 2D6 then? Uh, no, you, you roll one and then it gets multiplied. Okay. So four, so eight, and then so, so eight times eight, two is 16. And then 16. Yeah, it dies. Yeah. With a massive blow to the head and a radiant explosion, you guys see the creature vanish. And a cloud of dust. I'm gonna summon some uh, good Four berries. Four rounds later, uh, Nova and Gold are released from their paralysis. The entire the time that me? rounds are going, I'm gonna cast good ger good berries so we can all heal to full. Fair enough. Cool. Uh, you're, you're just can sitting I... there feeding them into their paralyzed mouths. Yeah, I'm literally just like squishing it and putting it in their mouth, just one at a time, just going swallow now. Yeah, there you go. Here you go. Yeah, one more, one more, one more. And I put it in his <laughs> nose, the last one. Hey, question. <laughs> if I mixed holy water on my poison, can I make it have the effect of poison that could still hit undead? Mm. Experimentation is needed. Experimentation is needed. Agreed. I'm gonna I'm gonna take some and do and try mixing it and see what happens. With my poison I do have a poison right, okay. Are you making a uh, holy water because it requires an hour to make? And... I can just summon it. Oh, okay. It says an hour. How do you summon and... it? Mino conjuration. It's ah, overpowered. 
<laughs> I love yep. it. And with my poison, I have it with me, which is going to be uh, Snake Venom. Alright, so sorry. you guys have gotten into this little room here. Mm -hmm. This enemy is dead. Um, um, perception? Yes, you may. Why do you say it like that? 16. Alright, so you notice that there are several oh alchemy God. cabinets li lining the walls and oh, around perfect. on the floor and the table and stuff. Hold on, I'll be right back. I've got to go do something. And this is okay. your room, Poison Master. I'm gonna um, go... Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, wait, hang on. <clears throat> oh, yes, this is my time to shine! Uh, Gold, where will you be looting? Um... Uh... There's some, so I'm at the bookshelf. There's crates, barrels, more crates, and then bags of stuff, and then another table and a box of goodies. Hold on, the thing has made it so I can't grab my character. God, I'm just rolling so crappy. Okay. And now we wait for the DM to get back. Wait a minute. Oh, never mind. This Nothing is, counts until decks. the DM's back, so just roll away. Yep. I'm just playing anyways. By the way, keep a, keep a hold of that mace. You don't have to give it back to me for right now. Oh, it's it's already back in your hand. Oh, okay. Just in case you needed it, because I'm not going to be using it. Why, you don't need a mace? How do you oh, do I... multiple? You just oh. click the dice. Oh. Oh, I have better you options, not have... honestly. I should have been using them. Okay, so, um, wait, you're, you're giving up the, the mace? Uh, yeah, he tries to, and I just wave him, wave it away, and tell him to keep it for now. Hey, did the 484 work? What are you trying to do? I don't know. It was a joke, and you just didn't play along with it. Oh, uh, please don't roll dice. Um, roll a d hundred. Oh uh, fuck it. Yeah, it, like we said, joking is a terrible, terrible idea. Thirty-three. Let me see what happens. Terrible. Roll a d two. Actually, roll a d four and call it. Uh, evens or odds? Uh, evens. Right. Odds. It's odds, so it's bad. You fucked up. <laughs> um, let me see what happens. I was doing something when you were away. I was playing around. I, I was bored. This. You were doing it too. Never play. <laughs> oh, you're yeah, not allowed fine. to have fun. You're just uh, right. as soon as he's back. Stop. A voice in your head goes, "Well, this is interesting." No, it, <laughs> no, <laughs> not again. What is it? Oh, I hope you like booze. <laughs> no, it takes away um, the thing that you love the most. No, it's not It's not that. Oh, it's not that one. Okay. <laughs> Something completely different. Oh. Hi. Hi. Instantly uh, gonna I'm get concerned of why he's talking to himself. Uh, I'm gonna pitch the most horrific thing to scale it. Ah, oh, you guys found my graveyard. This should be good. Oh, shit. That's actually pretty bad. Oh, no. Can well, I try at least I don't my... need to send my agent to watch over you guys anymore. I'm gonna call him back now. Can I do perception checks see if I can see him leave? Yep. Yeah. Can I hear any of this, or is this just, uh, just for him? You can hear his nope. half of the conversation. And we're nope. just gonna now, see him worry. frantically look around and can see I... nothing. Can I start working on my uh, poison hybrid with uh, holy power? Yes, you can. What do you want me to do for this? Roll a craft check. I don't know how to. What do it, I need to do? It's just for that? a d20. Ah. Yep. Can I get guidance from one of you? Could you get guidance? Sure. Uh, As guidance, sure. I hand you a bottle of holy water. Can we. <laughs> He's talking about the spell. Yeah, I really fuck, don't fuck this I'll, up. I'll, I'll cast guidance on him. Thank you. Right. So I'll do that one before. Oh, you're doing it. The team. All right. Do I add anything? You were to that? able to get this weird oozy concoction. 
I've never seen anything like it. Okay. And mm-hmm. did it seem like a walk walk with what I want it to do? Your testing is needed. That's all I'm gonna say. So, what you guys up to? The voice in your head goes. Uh, I'm gonna picture a a cat running on a treadmill. Hmm. Doesn't seem too helpful. And it's gonna like, have just stuff so I can't pick up. I'm gonna have it keep in, like like um, images going through my head so it doesn't figure out what I'm thinking. Um, perceptive. Are are you okay? Oh, I'm fine, honey bun. Hey, yes, yes, this, this, this is gonna, some... gonna need some testing. So let's go find another undead. Uh, we're just gonna finish looking around the room first. Give us a couple of moments here, bud. Okay. Can I walk uh, with, Can I try and rolls, uh, roll a perception? Nope. Who noticed him look around? Who? So... Oh. Five plus four? Fifteen. Nope. All right, you know what? That that's good enough. You guys notice a flash of light from outside the safe zone. It's actually somewhere over here, but you it's not on the map, so what okay. do you do? Cool. Um can I try making another concoction of the of uh, no more of potent poison? With holy water? Sure. Or- Another guidance. Oh. So 19... Unnatural. 20. 20. What? T- nice. All right. So th- uh, what were you trying to make? Sorry. So potent poison with holy water. All right. So this one looks even thicker. Like it's almost like a, a solid substance that you can rub on your claws. Kind of like mercury. Mm-hmm. Mm, I'm gonna put one of each like in like a jaw and have it to my side so if I need when I need to I can just dip it and use them. Fair enough. Like, Alright, we got some two we got two tests, test A and test B. We're gonna see how what happens. <laughs> and then is there anything else that looks interesting to me? In this area? Uh you notice that there are several bottles, there's a little gem. There's there's not really too too much on these tables because they've been mostly looted and destroyed. But, um, yeah. What in the bottle? They are still great. Do you sniff them? Uh, I'm gonna use my poison expedice to figure out what it is. Full knowledge. What would that be? Intellect. Intellect, yeah. Mm. No. You have no <laughs> idea what's in these bottles. Nah, fuck it's, it's not colorful, so it's definitely tasty. <laughs> you should definitely drink it. <laughs> no, thank you. Voice you in your that. head goes, Yeah, I wouldn't touch those if I were you. God damn it, now I want to take it because it said <laughs> that. Don't. Because my personality trait is exact opposite. Tells me to do that. Fuck yeah, it, it I'm does. Gonna put it in my bag. I'm going to put the, I'm gonna put a cap on it and put it in my bag. Fair enough. Since it's in uh, a container, ca- nothing's gonna happen when it touches your bag. <laughs> yeah, but I'm making sure like it's co- topped off when it doesn't spill. The voice in your head goes, "Okay, don't say it and warn you." Uh, I'm gonna picture uh, a woman giving birth. It's got. Y- you know, I can see your surroundings, right? I'm gonna keep doing it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Just because. It will give the equivalent of a shrug. Hmm. Alright, cool. Anybody else want to do anything? Because I took all the uh, spotlight. Moon, go ahead. Sorry, gold, go ahead. Uh, Why did I call you Moon? I don't know. That sounds good. I'm Noodles, though. He's a Pokemon protagonist now. No, I was oh, thinking shit. of Sailor Moon, and I haven't even watched it. Oh, it's because of Mercury. Oh, that's why. And also, <laughs> why did you make me the main character? Jeez. I'm uh, the only woman in the, in the group. Well, uh, I was just... Okay. Okay, uh, can I roll just a investigation check, or did they look around the whole room? They only did the table. Um, you can look over here near these barrels if you want. 
Sure. Most of this stuff has already been investigated, though. I'm about well, to get into this. Uh, 16 plus 4, dirty 20. You open up those barrels and you find a cobalt. It looks angry as it chitters loudly at you. A cobalt? Damn. <gasps> okay. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, it's chittering. Do I get to do a perception? Yes. Yeah. Did the cobalt count as an animal? No, it's technically sentient. Is it, is well, it, does it speak goblin? Or ch a yes, it speaks goblin. Oh, I speak goblin. Oh, okay. I'm gonna talk you to you. You can hear that chittering. It's not exactly quiet. Okay. Um, <sighs> I found a guy. Can I'm I... gonna walk up to. Oh, sorry, you go. Okay. Uh, so, does it classify as a beast? Technically, no. It's a monster. You want me to just talk to it? Dang. Uh, yeah. He looks up at you and goes, Hey, what are you doing? Leave me alone. Why Stop are you in a common way. <clears throat> Why are you in the barrel? I'm hiding, obviously. This place I... is full of undead. You know, are if you, you just go Jesus, out the door and to the left, you can the leave. The What'd you say? Who? Gold. Okay. Are you Jesus? I heard you find that guy in the bottom of a barrel. The Rotham goblin just puts found his hands in his head and is like, seriously, why are you bothering me? What did I do to you? I just wanted to see what's in here. You want us to get you out of here? That would be nice. This place is full of monsters. Okay, you, you could just literally leave the bit and we'll kill everybody. Jesus. I do have to test like my poison. Plan. The goblin grabs a knife. I think I can help. Uh, you know, I don't want your death on my mind. Just hang out here. You're I'll fine. give him a second dagger. All right. I give him a dagger full of stink, uh, self and venom. <laughs> so this man ha now has three daggers. <laughs> One cover in daily deadly de po poison. Yes. <laughs> don't cut yourself, please. <laughs> please don't. Don't let it touch you. Don't let it like get any soil close to your veins. Don't get it in your throat. Anything. Don't let it touch you. Definitely don't lick it. Or do. All right. That would okay. be interesting. So, and I'm curious if what would happen uh, if you did. With that out of the way, are you guys going to open this door? No, I is still it, need uh, to do my loot it... check. <laughs> oh. All right. What'd you roll? Uh, for the bookshelves. Just kind of a invest, like uh, perception on the bookshelves. What'd you roll? I rolled an 18 plus 4. Nice, and you get to add your luck bonus to this too, so that's actually a plus six. Yay! All right, so you open up those bookshelves and you find a small hexagonal stone. It is black. That doesn't sound good. Um, is it cursed? Are you going to roll knowledge arcane on it? Yes. Thirteen. You know that this object is not cursed. Great, I pick it up. All right. Um, you are cursed. <laughs> you're, just, you're cursed. Should, should I no. add uh, Jesus the Cobalt to my item list? Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm just checking. We're never letting him go. We're freeing him to imprison him. He is now uh, a slave. He, he's he like is... my friend now. You are our friend now. We're having soft tacos later. <laughs> do do do. <laughs> Okay, Hold so that a nuke. this is a black onyx. Yes, it is a piece of black onyx. It is worth a lot of gold. Onyx. Oh, I see that. Hmm. If I see it, we can sell it multiple times and just keep making fake, fake of it. Yes. Yeah. Twingle people out of money. I'm gonna put it in my backpack and just be like, okay. Is there any like books or anything that would interest us or no? Not in this particular cabinet. This place looks rather run down and destroyed. Okay, we can move on to the next one, I guess. Is okay. this door locked? <laughs> uh, are you guys going to look through the door? Yeah, uh, let's yes. look through the door. Okay, you notice something rather weird about this room. It, it has a ceiling, and it appears to be a pocket dimension of some kind. Ooh. You hear so a rather... Rather large groan coming through the door. Do I recognize the groan? It sounds like a zombie. 
I, I want to try my new poison out. All right. So you guys gonna open this door? Is it um, locked? Yes. All right. I'm gonna try my best to unlock this this time. Mm, the voice in your head goes, "I wouldn't go in there." Ah, uh, what's that? That's uh, seventeen. I don't want to open right. the door yet. I just want to unlock it. You hear a click as you successfully pick your first lock. I want to open it barely slowly to see if I Roll can get perception. a view of Ooh, okay. Yeah. Not to 20. Alright, it's not even trying to hide. So you look into that room and you see one of these. Hmm. I won't wait for the token. <laughs> yeah, I just look staring it. Oh, oh it's, a it's a Minecraft <laughs> giant. Oh no, that's just the perception. It's a zombie. It's just a Minecraft zombie. <laughs> no, that's how, a giant. How? So how big is it? It's like thirty feet tall. Mmm, must have a lot of skin to test my new poisons out now. So on, if huh? we threw a bunch of random balls in there. I was just thinking that. Covered in holy water. <laughs> and then a, close uh, the door. <laughs> I think this is a brilliant plan. Do it. Oh, can I can I take one of the balls and put my po uh, test poison on it to see if it works before we throw the rest of them in? I Doesn't mean, it... it's going to be hard for a round object traveling at a slow speed to penetrate skin, but sure. You can oh, we're it. covering the ground with it. And it's going to fall. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then, oh, ooh, gonna... you have Caltrops, wait, 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 don't you? Do. I'm going to conjure grease and then just spread it around. Um, very quietly and slowly. Yeah, very fair. And, um... It is a giant. Fish... Yeah. Sorry, noodles. You have those metal spikes, don't you? Yeah. Mix those in. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dips. We can put them on my poison on that, too. Yeah, dip the poison. Throw the holy water uh, oh, ball berries. <laughs> We're milking this. Items. <laughs> hey, you gave them to them. We're going to use them. I okay, mean, I didn't uh, realize we'd use them like this, but you know, let's go for good. it. I mean, if it works, it works. Okay, so I will hold the door open just enough so it can't see us, and you two okay. do your throwing and all that jazz. Uh, should I rage? Then I can get advantage on on strength check. How do you get advantage on think check if you're no, raging? No strength. strength. Oh, strength check, I see. <laughs> My list makes everything hard to sound. I see. <laughs> I was like, how does that make sense? You're literally in a rage. <laughs> it's called the smart rage. <laughs> I see. Smart rage. He's small, smart Hulk. Smart Hulk. You won't like me when I'm in bed. <laughs> mad and in Cody, I need a token. Oh, you need a token. Oh. You won't like me when I'm educated. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> a nerd's should I, rage. Should I do it? Yeah, Keeping sure. That advantage. All right, I'm gonna I mean, do the rage. It has some consequences, but why not? Wait, what's the consequences of raging? Uh, you don't know. Doesn't you know, it affect your decision-making potential? You can't You can't cast or concentrate on spell while raging. Yeah. I'm not canticrating on a spell or casting a spell. I'm just throwing shit. Fair enough. So, All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rage. Roll for spread. <laughs> okay. What do do I need to roll anything? So, uh, you can roll to assist. Seventeen and nineteen plus two plus so seven, it's a five. I think. Hang on. I want to make sure. Yep. A five plus nineteen. All right, so you rolled a 24, and gold, what did you roll to help him? Uh, 9 plus what am I adding, or am I adding anything? Uh, add your strength modifier. Oh, okay. So that's a 12? All right, those ball bearings and spikes go literally everywhere. However, the zombie's not moving, so anything thrown in the room just kind of bounces off of it. Cool. How did my venom do? 
Uh, let's see. It's gonna make a Constitution saving throw. Uh, do you want the Constitution saving throw of my uh snake venom? That's what something I mean. venom. Uh, I, it, it's not the same throw. Uh, uh, saving throw. The saving throw went up from what the snake venom would have been. Um. Oh my, really? That's token cool. send. Yep, I'm getting it now. Uh, yikes. You will notice that the zombie starts to make damage noises. Ooh, so that means that my venom looks great. Um, yeah, I'm just making a reference to the game here. Um, oh, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, that, that does not sound right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is that damage noises? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, oh is that damage me. noises? The giant better not open this door. That's all I'm going to say. All if right. The rooms and rocking. You don't come a knocking. Exactly. Because it's a giant. The giant will have noticed that you guys uh, threw some stuff in there and attempt to kick in the door. Uh, do we see this? Uh, the adult him like is he like? You uh, see a massive Titan? foot coming for the door. So I'm gonna yeah. fucking move out of the way. I'm gonna cast gust and then back up as well. I'm gonna back up. Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's the. Is that the saving throw? No, that's the giant's attempt to kick in the door. Damn. Oh, does he fall onto all that shit? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys hear a massive thud as something falls. Did you guys, Did you guys hear something? I'm gonna peek back inside the door and look in and go... What? You cannot push the door open. It is currently being blocked. Um... Is there any fire is sources near us? <laughs> I've got some alchemist flame. <laughs> but you can't get it in now. It will attempt to stand up. Hey, by the way, there's grease in there. You might want to uh, use this grease in there, too. You will successfully stand up. I've got to roll some damage dice for it. Ouch. Ooh. It also fell more back onto the, the snake uh, serpent venom. Yeah, I'm because aware. Spikes. <laughs> All right, so it's it's standing up now. It's not bloodied yet, but it will attempt to kick in the door again. <laughs> the stupid door. You guys uh, hear doors it. overpowered. It's the doors just holds. I'll um, do it again. There we go. Both doors fly off their hinges and well, slam into the the walls over here. You guys can see that the pocket dimension makes it so that the zombie can walk in and out of this room with no cumber encumbrance. I mean, would he turn from a giant to a normal one? Nope. He wouldn't Still fit giant. Through. So he would go. He go through the the ceiling. Yeah, it's it, it's a distortion door. So the door right. is actually as tall as the giant is. Uh, you guys just didn't notice it until you opened it. So uh, um, I guess why all this was happening, I was waiting to shoot off a spell. I also prepared oh. my good venom, my uh potent point, pointed holy venom, and uh, I'll just cast gust to try to trip it back onto the caltrops. <laughs> I'm All just right. gonna hit it with Eldritch Blast. Uh, two All right, of so them. I'm gonna do last scratch it. Well, I'm All raging. Right. So I get a van uh, extra hit. On it, I think. Oh yeah, that's actually a good size for this token. Um, so it is in front of you. So yeah, you guys make your attack rolls at your surprise rounds. Uh, real quick, um, how big is it? It's feet. It's thirty feet tall. Uh. <laughs> Those are uh, four what and a five the... plus six, so a ten and eleven. How okay. does wage work for hitting? I haven't used the barbarian like forever. Uh, you get a plus a bonus to your attack based on your level from barbarian. No, so I get plus two damage, but not plus two to hit. Uh, let me look at rage. Or do I uh, get a plus rage. two to hit? Because is it plus two damage with melee strength? Yeah. So yeah. So also, I take half damage, or we, I'm resistant to everything but psychic. Rage, um... You have advantage on strength and uh, checks and saving throws. 
Uh, when your melee weapon makes an attack roll, you get a plus two bonus on damage rolls. You are resistant to being bludgeoned, piercing, slashing damage. If you cast a spell, you um, if you're able to cast spells, you cannot cast uh, or concentrate on them while raging. Uh, your rage lasts for one minute. It ends if you are knocked unconscious, your turn ends, uh, and you haven't attacked or a hostile creature since your last turn, uh, taken damage since then. Okay, so, um, you can rage on your turn as a bonus action. Right, but I was already raging. Unless that took it longer than a minute. No, uh, each round is six seconds. So, cool. Alright, uh, then who goes first? Do we need a roll initiative? Yep. Actually, you guys get a surprise round first, so make your attack rolls there. Not 20. Um, so 22 for my initiative. Okay. Uh, you gotta make an attack roll first, because you guys are prepared for this thing to come through the door, so... I was a 10 and, I and 11. These? I mean, if you want your attack roll, yeah, sure, roll for double crit. Yeah, I'll roll for the crit. Roll. So, what would that be? One, 2d4 damage? Yeah. 2d4 right. damage, times 2. Do you, hang on, I gotta find it. Uh, with my d's. And then I'll handle the poison side of things. So, 2d4, then... It's 5 to 10, plus 6. Five and then, roll. plus 2 more, so 6, 7, so... 11, 12, 13 damage. And then All I'm going right, to also... Sir. Wait, I'm also going to use a key point to flow your blows. I, okay. uh, I didn't roll for initiative, sorry. Uh, initiative hasn't been rolled yet. We're still okay. in the surprise round. Oh, thank God. So, flow your blows, you get two hits, right? Yes. Okay, so I, I roll it twice again. Yeah. Another nice. nat 20. And a 19. So... Damn. Roll... What is three? your rolling today? All right, roll for double crit. So uh, that's three D four. Barbarians. What's the barbarians' crit range? I don't uh, think they I have extended have... crit range. Only the fighter does. Oh, okay. <laughs> but that means I do. I roll three D four, right? Uh, no. You roll your set damage and then double it. Also, you have to roll for double crit. So just another D twenty. Yeah. Oh wait, I'm sorry. I'm confused. I'm. So... All right. So. I'm using a variant rule that says uh, if you roll a critical hit, you roll again, and if you get another crit, then you roll again. If you roll three crits in a row, whatever you're fighting dies. If you roll okay. two crits, it takes times four damage. Okay. Yeah. So, 16. So now I, I roll, what do I roll for damage? Uh, your normal dice, and then you double it, because this was just a standard critical hit. So, four, eight, and then plus three. And then plus two. So yeah. four, so nine, and then and right, then so, poison. All right, so and then poison. It will. I am using. I'm not using uh, right. snake poison. I'm, I'm using the holy, the better one. The yeah. No, I guess it's not better one. The the poison poison. So it's going to take some damage here. Um, it takes thirty six again. Um, it is now bloodied. It has taken sixty some damage. Wait, I have one more, don't I? One more roll, because uh, I, I, I rolled two, because Floyd Blows have two. Yes, but you rolled a 19 on that one, so it's not critical. Nin the nine yeah, but I still get one hit off of it. I still have to yes, roll that damage. Do. Yes, you have to roll that damage. <laughs> two, plus, so All right, plus so. five, six, and then do another uh, poison check, please. All right, uh, and... I'll make a poison check on that one. It will pass that check. Okay. Um, Wait, I thought uh, potent poison is, co is constitution of 14. Yes, that... but the monster has a high constitution. Ah, okay, cool. Just wanted to check, make sure. It is a giant. What did you expect? I don't know. Poison's awesome, man. Really Fair nice. enough. Um, all right, so now uh, I believe, Gold, you wanted to cast Eldritch Blast, right? Yep, I rolled a... um. What I say? That's a five and a four, but plus six, so a ten and eleven to hit. All right. So it is giant. It has minuses to its AC. That will hit. 
Wow, that's crazy. Okay, so yeah. I roll... Um, yeah, two... it's it's a giant creature. It has like a minus four to its AC. <laughs> uh, 2d10. All right. Okay, so 10. All right, it takes... 10 damage. And does that Eldritch Blast have any secondary effects? Uh, I don't think so, because I don't have any, like, special stuff. It's just, uh, force damage. Alright. In that case, it's not weak to force damage in any way or shape or form, so it is Eminence turn now. Gust. <laughs> Gust? Alright. That's right, you wanted to try to knock it over. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's, it's got to make a strength saving throw, correct? Yep. 15 or higher? Yep. All right. It will pass that check. Dang. Aww. Well, that's my All reaction, right. anyways. It's fine. Roll initiative. Okay. Monster roll yeah. a 24. 13. Uh, 19. 9. All right. All right, so it's the monster, then um, the Nova, then Eminence, and finally Goldfish. Um, all right, so the monster is going to try to kick. Who's the closest to it? Who wants to be say, kicked? I say t the bird. I could, I could go for go for me because I have resistance. So just do I was that. Gonna say you should probably just kick me. Thank you. If it kicks me, I will probably die. <laughs> I have the lowest health. Uh, what is your armor class, um, Nova? 14. It's going to hit you. Cool. So whatever um, it, has, it hits, it need, we need to half it. Unless it's doing psychic damage. It is not doing psychic damage. Cool. Alright, so... Uh, it will hit you for 10 damage and knock right. you back into this stone wall here. Oh. Which I have to roll for impact damage for. Um, and I use my cat like reflexes to, to catch myself? Uh, you may attempt to, yes. What do I need to do? What, what I, what I need, uh, uh, roll dirty? reflex. Real reflex. <laughs> that, that was bad. Nope, that's wait, um, what's, wait, what's my dex? Plus three! Saving throw section. Yeah, no. You will take yeah. an additional four damage from this. Alright, that's not bad. Yeah. I need to get some kind of armor that's gonna boost my uh but my AC, but okay. Yeah, like leather or studded leather? Yeah, but then cause right now I have un uh what's it called? Unarmored bonus with plus two, so it has to be better than a plus two. I think leather is like a plus three. I don't think leather leather? Plus three. Like studded leather? I'm hang on. I'm gonna look it up. I, I I think that's what it is. I'm not 100 percent sure. Obviously, I can't Arrow, add it right? now, but it'll be added later if we yeah. buy it. No, so, Nova, it is now your turn. You're oh, kind of um, embedded in the wall just a little bit. You're kind of. Can stuck, I use my so strength to push through. myself out? Yes. Make a reflex saving throw. <laughs> Fuck. I'll allow it. Wait, you're not going to be able to move anywhere because uh, you're not going to get any mobility from it, but you do manage to get yourself out. Do I still have movement speed or no? Uh, it's halved, but yes. I'm going to use my move. Uh, can I, so I have. So halved is 20. Hang on, mm -hmm. i got to find a little where that is. Oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. Full attack. Alright, full attack. Go for it. Nine plus five. What's that? That will not 14. break. Yes, Blue sorry, it has blood. a minus four to its AC. That will hit. Cool. Uh, yeah. what do I need to do with the D4? Its base AC is 15, but it's actually an 11, so... Uh, so that's plus five, so six. All right, so it takes six damage from that. Uh, are you going to use Fury check. of Blows? Uh, poison check first. I want to see if it kills it. It's not even... well... It will fail. Damn. Great. It's gonna take 49 damage. It's almost dead. Cool, I'll blow it blow Yikes. then. Alright. I'll end the thing. Hang on, so I need to make two of these now. 
Alright. Uh, I'm guessing the 15 hit, but the 3 does not. That is correct. Cool. Hmm. Another 6. Dang, alright. Give me another poison check. like on the verge of death here. <laughs> so if it hits by poison, it's dead, right? Yep. Ooh. It will pass the check, however. Oh, <laughs> sorry guys, I couldn't end it. It's all good. That's okay. All right, so it is... Whose turn is it? Eminence, it is your turn. Oh, it's my turn. Uh, Gold, did you take the hammer back, yes or no? No, no, you kept it. Okay, I'm going to hit it in the shin with a hammer. Uh, roll your attack. 15 plus Yeah, three. that will hit. Okay. No question, that will hit. Three. All right, so that actually is radiant, so that's going to do double to it. It takes six damage. It is so close to death. It has a couple hit points. Great. Okay. That is leather. It's uh, 12 plus your dexterity. So that's 12, 13, 14. That'd be the same thing. Oh. Mm. Okay. Is it? Is, is it my turn? Yeah. Yes, it is. Okay. I am going to use Eldritch Blast again. All right. Uh, Whoa. 14 plus 6 yep. and 11 plus 6. That's going to hit. Oh, I gotta knock two key points off. Hang on. Oh, 7 and then for the other one, 8. So. Alright! That is enough to end it. The zombie turns red and knocks over. It drops a single piece of rotten flesh on the ground as it vanishes. I'm going to take the rotten flesh. You going to eat that? No. <laughs> I would like to point out that that rotten flesh is highly poisonous. Wait! It's going to go in my poison oh, bag. I wasn't going to eat it. I was just asking. Oh. Hey, why uh... are you keep giving me poison stuff? You know what's going to happen with that. Yeah, he knows. I'm aware. I guess we enter the room and we look around. It is a pocket dimension. This room is really weird. There's like black. The walls are completely black. You can see the door right here. You can see where this door used to be and a huge exit out mm -hmm. where the giant came out. And there are boxes just laying around. Uh, by the way, I'm going to speak to whatever the thing in my head. Uh, see that? We can deal with giant. Fuck you. Yes, yeah, that's just like. the first challenge I put in this graveyard. Fuck Who you, anyway. Who the hell are you talking to? Now you have damn bonus, noodles. You haven't bothered to ask the voice in your head if it has a name. Fuck, you don't care enough. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Alright, um, I'm gonna check the box in close to me. Yeah. I mean, if you did ask it if it had a name, it would answer you. I, 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 did I not answer your question? I don't give enough. <laughs> All right. We're just assuming <laughs> it's Strahd at this point. I think this is the motto of our party is, yeah, sure, I don't fucking care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Just, where's the next thing yep. to kill? <laughs> yeah, it's, how did you, yeah, it is Strahd. Yeah, I figured. Oh, yeah, we all knew that. I knew that, yeah. I mean, how many times have we accidentally called that guy? Yeah, at this point, it's Too either many. Strahd or a god or a demon. There's only three options. Dude, this guy's getting <laughs> called constantly. I bet his phone charge is so high. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? That's the next I mean, question we should ask. How's your bill going? <laughs> Are you going to pay for my minutes? It could that we owe money to. Ah, you true. owe money to... Yeah, one of our past team members decided to sell us. As the DM, it is literally Strahd. You literally saw the guy disappear that was following you. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, what are these boxes? Roll investigation? Yeah, we're just all looting boxes. Yeah. All right. Shit. I think I have a really high. And uh, Beth, you guys open it 30, up, 20. and you find a strange-looking tube. Tube? Tube. Can I do a inve uh, investigation check on the tube? Uh, yeah. Let me just 
Let me just get an image of what this looks like. Eight. I love how gold's. Just I'm so out. excited to see what it is. Uh. Is this at the Minecraft area? If it's not, I'm gonna be very upset. It, it is not something from Minecraft. That was just a reference I made. Yeah, this you. is what it looks like. <laughs> oh, it's oh. a light bulb. Is it so? It's made out of glass. Mm, uh, it looks like it's made out of glass, but it's actually a mercury mixture. Mercury? That's a good poison. Oh, can I tell if it's poison? Um, vacuum tube. <laughs> mhm. Mm Your characters would have no idea what this is. Well, that looks like a poison. Hey, Bud Blaine, you can have this. I'm gonna give it to him. You're gonna give me a vacuum tube. Okay. Well, I'm gonna study this for the next uh, like, ten so did hours. Did you examine the vacuum tube? God yeah, damn it! I keep trying to click the to do. I accidentally clicked the goddamn m mice in a, two times, uh, and now I have it in my hand. I don't know what to do about it. Is it perception or? Damn it! There we go. I need uh, to take roll investigation. In there go. Investigation. Uh, it's just a sixteen then. All right. You notice that there is a ambient. Uh, this thing is ambiently radiating heat. Damn, I- oh, I didn't get my gloves, I guess. I'm gonna put this in a safe place, and I'm gonna study it later. Alright, it should also be noted that inside is a glowing greenish rock. In the inside. very middle of the, uh, vacuum tube. Oh, Jesus. Is it radiation? Yes. Yep, the board blank can keep that. Either <laughs> way, we don't want it. Green glowing uranium car. Oh, I gotta write down. Wait, can uh, can I make poison out of the uh, zombie flesh with the holy water and make a bit more stronger poison? And mm -hmm. I'm I'm guessing I won't be able to get advantage because I. Uh, not I right now, thing. but yes, when you have a look at that, you'll be able to determine that. Can I determine what? Poison so strong I can kill God. So should I wait <laughs> until what? Should I wait until I have more time to like study it? Or yeah, yeah exactly. Probably a good idea. You guys are kind of in the middle of a dangerous situation, right? Okay, now. cool. I'll wait then. I'll just use oh, the. Oh, by the uh, way, Cody, stuff. um, you notice that there are several of these cylinders in this box. Oh, sure. As I'll well as some other me uh, metallic components. I'm pretty sure I'm the one that found that. I did not the Dodie Twenty. Yeah, but you called everyone over to where you are, so. Oh, okay. Checking it, so. uh, uh, how many vacuum tubes are there? There's about eight. Okay. Got there's a now question. zero. Is there you still oil? Them? Okay. Sorry, what? Is there still oil and poison and sharp objects on the floor? Yes, yes, there is. <laughs> okay. Cool. Well, no one touch anything. We should also... uh, pick them up. <laughs> Carefully. Very good. And just wipe the poison. Like, put, take water. Oh, I conjure water and just, like, detoxinate the poison that's on the ground. We don't have to care about it. Yep. Okay, fair enough. But oh, there are still spikes water on the floor. To make sure. Oh, yeah. The spikes we can just pick up, but the poison kind of difficult. So, Sorry, what yeah. exactly did I use out of my inventory? Um... Use two bottles of your poison, your ball bearings, and your spikes. Okay, so two ball bearings, two spikes, and he used this poison. And we're going to spend yes. time picking up the two ball bearings up. and spikes, though, so don't delete yeah, those. Yeah, you're going to get those back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Cody, you noticed that there are several other molecular components in here. Such as? Uh, you notice that there is a casing that looks round. Plutonium core. Got it. They're building nukes. <laughs> it might be. You guys oh, no. figured that no, one out real knowing quick. Knowing Martin, yeah, it's nukes. <laughs> I mean, hey, they DM. were building dynamite. They're building nukes. We're going to come into the AK-47 factory. Mark my words. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to take the core. It's already planned. Can I roll to see if I know the post in my head? Manage I can inventory. In customize. Yeah, you can just ask them, but yeah, you can. No, yeah, you can I want to roll. I want, I want to be petty and I gotta I gotta figure it myself. And uh, how right, many rock. cores are there? There are eight. I take. Uh, eight. I don't know what it, what would it be. A fucking investigation, I guess. 
Yes, investigation. Nine. All right. You know, based on warnings you've heard from your master, that that is the voice of Strahd. Oh. <laughs> He's just gonna give it to me? Cool. Yeah. Hey, Strahd, can you leave soon, or how long- do you know how long you're gonna stay? Is there like a- Wait. do you have a time limit on it? Wait, are you talking to that asshole? <laughs> Why did that kill you? <laughs> no, there's no time limit, and I'm gonna stay here as long as I like. Gotta keep an eye on my enemies, after all. I'm gonna uh, fucking kill you. Yeah, tell him we're gonna kill him. Like, real fucking fast. I'm pretty sure he can hear us, but either way... I, yeah, I yeah, my, I, I can hear a, what they're I saying. I make a giant middle finger in my mind. Like, so big and glorious. <laughs> Did you tell him? <laughs> yes, I told him. Oh, thank God. Did you do it in the most magnificent way possible? Ah, oh, you know, honey, I did. Ah, I, I see you guys you. found my little science project. It's not quite finished yet, but I'm working on it. It's shiny, and Good I will you learn destroy. everything about it. <laughs> Fuck. Mm, good luck <laughs> with that. Also, don't poison yourself too hard. Poison? Who said poison? You don't tell me what to do, drinks plutonium. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> You would die instantly. You can't drink yeah. plutonium. That's why I said drink. If you eat it, you will die. I know, which is why I didn't say eat, because you would have made me do it. <laughs> we will get plutonium. Well, yeah, uh, that stuff put... tends not to be so good for your health. That's why I let undead handle it. Pretty so much. So what if we put it in the cup? Don't that, fuck, don't waste joke. a one. It's not a liquid. <laughs> uh, if we add liquid to it, then I mean, technically yes, Stop you could wooing. get trace amounts of purified uranium, but I don't know why you would want that. <laughs> Wait, We're can making, I make uranium uh, poison? Heavy bullets. If you figured out what uranium is, yes. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's uh let's move on. Right. Yeah. Did this still need to be a block pick too? Uh, yes, this one is also locked. I'm gonna stay to Strahd. How many goddamn locked doors do you have? Uh, a lot. I need to keep something in here. Do you have a, lo a key I should just go get? Because at this point, you know we're gonna get in. We have acid locks. It it's just really annoying at this point. Fine. He wait. You can see him proverbially wave his hands, and you just hear all of the locks fall <laughs> simultaneously. Well, that's at least going to save me on the acid budget. <laughs> I'll be surprised if you guys survive this encounter, though. Oh, fuck. I'm going to not all the, open all the way door, but I'm going to, like, peek through it. Just you hear a going. roar from deeper in the graveyard. It sounds like an abomination screaming its head off. If something is let loose. Oh, hey, I know abominations. Oh, I laughed too hard. So, is there anything in this? Uh, wait, I need to hang. Uh, fucking. There is in, in the room in front of you. Yeah. Yes, there is something in there. Uh, can I do a perception check? You may. Yes. Yeah. Fuck. What is going to be a sixteen? Uh, what's that? Two. You can so see five. two humanoid figures with masks and skulls looking back at you. I'm gonna close the door very quietly, and then tell them what's what's in there. Fair enough. You just guys wanted to skip this room and just go to whatever the screaming thing is, or how you want to do it? Um. Is there Sorry, any? So you can see up. through there, yes. I it, I told I told you it's these skull fuckers. I don't know what they're called. I'm gonna I cast moonbeam. Necromancers. I'm gonna cast moonbeam. Inside the room. You can't see them. Damn. Now, if I open the door just a tiny bit, and he can look through them. Well, yes, then he could, but he can't right now. But if I do that, it's like, I open the door just a tiny bit, but you can just see them. Now do it. Okay. Moonbeam. You notice <laughs> that as you open the door, these two are actually gone. They fled. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, then I guess we don't cast Moonbeam. Uh, can enough. I do a perception check, make sure they just didn't go invisible? They teleported out of the room. Oh. Is it because they noticed us? No! It's because the thing got loose. 
Oh, oh the giant. Oh, because oh. all the doors are locked. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I just we go realized. into this room, and then we lock the door behind us. <laughs> the lock and is gone. By the way, these wraiths outside are also gone, although your characters would not know that. Uh, oh, I'm going to conjure a lock for this one. For this one, and this one, I'm just going to take a box and put it in front of it. Alright. The locks guess... that were on these doors had special magical properties. Oh, the shit. Men will not stop whatever is coming. Hmm. You guys well, can hear wood cracking as this door over here breaks. We should guys, probably run. You hear Put a howl, a scream, and a um, a uh, stiffing sound all at the same time. I'm gonna. Oh my try god, the fucking silver is in it. Larger chamber. Yeah, me too. I'm out. I'm fucking out of here. Um. Yeah, I'll I'll also go out here. But, um, uh, real quick, this we put is some a great traps cliffhanger. Down? <laughs> uh, cause I have to get going pretty soon here, guys. No! Okay. I spent an hour and a half not even in the game. I know, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Next session will be just long as well. Yeah. This was really good. This was a good session. Now Double. I thought you can hit... And now I can actually hit on dead creatures. It's gonna be great. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this is just as crazy as our last party, but it seems like uh, in a different way without us being cursed or poisoned or dead. And yeah, pretty much, right? Okay, well, I will be right back. I'm gonna just quickly end my stream and I will. Just go. before you end the stream, you guys uh, peek through the door and you can see okay. this coming for you. Oh, Dodge. I knew it. Silverus, oh, God Cerberus. damn it. Isn't that fun? Yeah. Dodge, okay. you son of a bitch. <laughs> well, that is that. That was a great session today. I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope you learned a little bit as well if you're interested in starting D&D for yourself. It can be a little bit chaotic, as you guys all can see. But, yeah, um, let's just end our stream and uh, hopefully raid someone. I hope you guys all enjoyed and have a great night.